first thing I'm gonna do is moisturize with Pond's dry skin cream. I'm just gonna, you know, dab this. Uh, natural beauty, guys. Hashtag natural beauty. I'm just gonna massage. I think that's good. I mean, that's as good as it's gonna get, so. So after that, I'm gonna prime my face with this baby skin from Maybelline, and it's just going to fix my big pores. I'm just gonna put it from my nose, under my eye, and then right over here. <laughs> I feel like I need music, guys, but I'm gonna like talking this whole video. So comment down below, like, when you guys start, so I know, like, how fast I need to upload videos or something. Again, that's as good as it's gonna get, so let's move on. So then I'm gonna take this Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. I think this is like one of their newest foundation this year. As you guys know, I usually use the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation, but I decided to give this a try because it's a matte and I'm a very oily person. I mean, I've used this for like the past week or so and it's been a great product on my skin. So I just put some on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna take some and tap it anywhere where it needs to cover my imperfections, which is everywhere. This is the reason why I don't do voiceovers or chit chat get ready with me is because I just end up talking about random stuff that's not like beauty related. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my beauty blender and blend. Do you guys ever just have way too many baby hairs? Like, because I feel like I have so much baby hairs. Yeah, just, you know, just keep blending. Blend your life, girl. Blend like your life depended on it. So after that, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Maybelline Instant H Rewind Concealer. Tap that under my eyes. And then the bridge of my nose and on my chin. I feel like I'm using most Maybelline products, but I promise I'm not sponsored or anything. But yeah, I just really like their products. I'm more a drugstore person, makeup girl, than like Sephora because they're so like affordable and then why buy an expensive makeup when you can find alternatives for a cheaper price, you know? You get me? My face is slowly starting to together. After that, I'm going to take this e.l.f. powder brush and dab it on my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I love this powder. This is my ultimate favorite powder. And I've been using it for like two years now and cannot get over it. And I'm just putting it all over my face except like this area because I have a specific powder that I put there. And then for my under eye, I'm going to use the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. What I'm going to do is just tap it and then, you know, just brush it over. Okay, so on to contour and bronzers. This is like my favorite part. I'm going to take this bronzer and then this angled, what is this? brush from I think Eco Tools and then I'm just gonna tap lightly, tap off the excess and contour, you know, contour the way you want to contour. And I love Hilary Duff. That's like a random fact you guys. I'm gonna put some on my temple and then on my jawline. I wish I was blessed with a perfect jawline. Now that's done, I'm gonna take this NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer and this is in the shade 720A Sunny. And I'm just gonna take the same brush and contour my nose a little bit. Yeah. We're gonna go on to the eyebrows. And my eyebrows are kinda looking crazy right now because I haven't got them threaded for like two weeks now i haven't had time but life goes on we're just gonna have to deal with it so i'm gonna take this elf eyebrow kit in the shade medium and then i'm gonna take this two-in-one brow brush start drawing your eyebrows eyebrows matters your eyebrows matter guys 
says the person who hasn't got them threaded for like two weeks, right? Yeah. This is what I mean by I don't do voiceovers or talk with me or chit chat with me as I get ready because I like literally say the most randomest things ever. <sighs> Being a girl is hard. We're gonna go ahead on to the eyes. And today we're gonna be using a combination of the Naked 3 palette, the Nudes palette, and the Naked Basics. First thing we're gonna apply in our eyes is Foxy from the Naked Basics palette. Paint your face, girl. So then we're gonna take slightly dark brown shade right over here. Yeah, I'm not like a really, really good makeup artist, so I'm just doing what works for me. Just put it on the outer corner and then up to your crease. Put it the outer corner first and then slowly drag it into your crease. Then we're gonna take this e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush and we're just gonna blend the crease area and yeah. So then we're gonna take the Naked 3 palette and use Nooner. And using the concealer brush from e.l.f., I'm just gonna take a little bit, tap off the excess, and put it on the outer corner just to darken it a little bit. Then I'm gonna use this Pop Goes the Shadow in Champagne and then put it on my lid, just the middle lid. So then we're gonna take the same concealer brush from e.l.f. and just blend everything to make it seamless. So then I'm gonna take this crease brush that's a little bit more structured and pointy and I'm gonna take this dark brown eyeshadow from the Nudes palette and put it like right here, just on the outer corner. So then we're gonna take this eyeliner. This is from the brand Milani and this is in the color Espresso. And I'm just gonna line my eyes with the upper part. And then to line my eyes, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Studio Gel Liner in Black is Black. And I'm gonna be using the brush that it came with it. And I'm not gonna give myself a wing liner. It's just gonna be a simple and subtle eyeliner on the top. I'm gonna start in the middle and slowly drag it. The key to having a perfect eyeliner, or at least a good, decent eyeliner, is to do small strokes instead of just lining your eye. So I do the middle first and then I kind of just make small strokes towards the end. And then for mascara, mascara. And then for mascara, I'm just going to be taking this Sonia Kashuk Eye Curler. Just curl your lashes like you normally do. Let me know how long it takes you guys to curl your lashes because I feel like I take like 5 to 10 minutes just curling my lashes. So then I'm going to use this May... What? So then I'm going to use this Maybelline Lash Sensational mascara and this is the waterproof. I only use waterproof guys because my eyelashes don't stay curled unless I use waterproof. Do you guys just ever make funny face when you put eyelash, when you put eyelash, when you put mascara on or do your eyelashes? Oh my god, did you see that? I was a... <laughs> that was so funny. Hope you guys laugh. So then I'm going to take this e.l.f. Bake Eyeshadow Trio in Peach Please and I'm going to take this champagne shade and just put it in the inner corner just to brighten up my eye. And then for blush, I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. Blush Palette and then I'm going to be taking this Eco Tools Blush Brush and I'm going to dab it in the lightest pink shade on top of the excess and smile. And do the same thing on the other side. Okay. 
and then I'm going to slightly drag it onto my temples because I think it looks really nice if you have some type of color right here. So that's for blush and then my favorite, favorite part of applying makeup. I'm going to take this Maybelline New York Master Highlight and this is in the shade Light Bronze and I'm going to give myself a glow. I'm all about the glow. And then on my temple, I just love highlight in general, you guys. So, yeah. Can you guys see? Am I glowing? Look at this. And then I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild Shimmer Palette, and this is from the Fergie collection. And using the same tapered brush, I'm just gonna run through it real quickly. Apply it to where I applied the Maybelline Master Highlight. So moving on to lips, I'm going to be using this NARS Satin Lip Pencil and it's just this nudish pink color and I'm just going to be applying it all over my lips. I don't know if you guys noticed but this color is almost close to my natural lip color and this is why I really like it because it's good for like everyday lipstick. So that's it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this simple nude eyeshadow makeup look for first day of school and if you think this is too much feel free to change it up a bit but for college there's really no strict rules as to what you can wear and cannot wear so yeah feel free go crazy be yourself if you don't like wearing makeup be you girl be you and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next back to school video bye Just kidding.